Hello everybody, Game Crazy here. Welcome back to my Pokemon X Egglock. In the last episode, we beat the whatever city gym. I can never remember the cities in this game. What city is this? Cor Kumarine City. Wait, what did that say? The city where Bay and Butte are bound. I assume that's Butte. And how, that's how you pronounce it, since it's Butte, not but Montana. Professor Sycamore told me you can now wield Mega Evolution. That is truly wonderful! With that power, you can steer your future in a better direction. Uh, ooh, I forgot to check. Uh, well, I know it's this route, but I don't know if it's anywhere on the route or a certain place in the route, but we'll find out soon enough. Also, Pokedex upgrade. Uh, the thing I was uh, talking about is I forget which area I have to level up my Pokemon in. And by my Pokemon, I mean the Magneton and the uh, Nosepass to get them to evolve. I forget if it's just like be on this route or if it's be near like the electric uh, the electric plant that we're gonna go into spoiler in case you didn't know so this area you can see every encounter uh, let me just walk around also there's in case you couldn't tell there's sand pushing a, uh, a sandstorm pushing us back that's why we can't really move to the left too well Anyway, Skinly versus a Doug Trio. Uh, I do not. Well, I don't know if I want to Mega Drain it or not. You know what? Let's just Mega Evolve and Leech Seed. Skinly! And this is what Mega Venusaur looks like. He gets a flower on his head. And he also gets one on his butt, but you can't see that one. Oh, oh wow, I am glad. <laughs> I forgot that uh, he had bulldoze, and I was like, oh no, I'm poison type. And then I remembered, oh yeah, I'm also grass. So I don't care about your ground type moves. Uh, the thing about Doug Drio, it doesn't really have too good defenses, so I kind of can't really just, like, weaken it. If I had Chibi out in front, which would have been a horrible situation for Chibi, because, uh, pretty much I can't, I can't switch out Skinly right now. Skinly is stuck in. Trial, I might, uh, arena, well, he might be stuck in, I should say. It depends on if this thing has arena trap or not, which most of the time they do because they like to be jerks. Uh, and, well, anyways, I think I'm stuck in now because it used Sand Tomb. So I'm just gonna kind of throw a few Great Balls, maybe try an Ultra Ball next. If it, or once it gets in yellow. Yeah, we'll try an Ultra Ball now, and if that doesn't work, we'll just kind of Great Ball it a bit, maybe. This is kind of an awkward situation, just because I didn't really have anyone good to use against these Pokemon. Okay, good, we got it. And luckily, I have a nickname prepared for this Pokemon, uh, which we're gonna... Alright, Scooter's gonna evolve first. Uh, we're gonna get that Pokemon at the start of the next episode. Or maybe we'll do it now. We'll do it now, because it would just kind of be awkward to do it later. But like I said, first let's have Scooter evolve. Uh, <laughs> I guess this confirms this is where uh, anywhere on here is fine to level up the Pokemon. So hopefully in the power plants is also good because I'm going to be doing most of my battling in there. S 
Scooter is now a Magnezone. Uh, I believe since this is an area evolution, it doesn't affect the uh, moves it learns, kind of like the trade evolutions kind of are. Normally evolutions do affect learn set, but I think these don't, just because it's, I mean, level up in an area, that's something that would be very hard to avoid if you wanted to learn a move in 10 levels first. You'd have to completely avoid using that Pokemon. Well, here I could switch out Magnezone, Scooter. Nah, we'll keep Scooter in. Also, in case you didn't notice, I have Pico with me, uh, just so I can level him up a little bit. And also, he evolved. As should be kind of obvious, since I had to put him up to level 25. Uh, I'm going to need to put that Doug Trio in the first box so I can see how far I have to put this. Heck. Okay, I accidentally got two Ekans, apparently. Uh, so this Ekans is not the Pokemon we'll be catching. I looked at and counted the QR codes I got from the Reddit post. And yeah, this is exactly the same Ekans I hatched. For Mipsy. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yes, continue operations. Or, not for Mipsy, when I was supposed to name something after Mipsy. Let us pretend that we can hatch this egg. I knew at some point I was going to run into a duplicate egg I accidentally made. Uh, I might have made two for all I know. Uh, but let's see what this one is. Okay, we get a Geodude. <laughs> this is something else I need to trade to get to its final stage, which I think we will pretty much be at. So this is going to be nicknamed after Shadow Mario from, uh, well, if you don't know where he's from, you know, I'm pretty sure everyone watching here probably knows him. So, yeah. Shadow Mario! Note to self. Power to Mario next, because I don't think I have him. Anyways, we get to go to level 26. Impish, Sturdy, Tackle, Defense, Curl, Endure, Wide Guard. Eh, not bad, not bad. That's... Uh, grab p -call. I decided on p -call, by the way, we're gonna make him a Gardevoir. Just because that will give us another potential Mega. It means Synchro Noise isn't gonna be super useful because, well, Psychic Fairy... We could use it on a Fairy, but pretty much every Fairy doesn't really have... There's no fairy that's weak to Psychic that I can think of off the top of my head. And there's definitely no Psychic type weak to Psychic, considering Psychic resists Psychic. So at worst, we're going to have one that takes neutral damage, such as Glade. Anyways, that's our Pokemon for Route 13. Let's uh, go slowly exploring and run into a Pokemon. Oh, this is something I could show off when I'm thinking on it. So, we Mega Evolve Skinly, and uh, as you can see, we kind of skipped some of the cutscenes since we already Mega Evolved them. Uh, this is a per play session thing, I believe. So, uh, if I ever grind beforehand, you might be able to tell. Because I will have. Uh, Probably Mega Evolve the Megas. It's gonna go to 33. Nothing else. So disappointing. Hi, guy. Pokemon around here will pop out at you. Maybe the electricity from the power plant has something to do with it. Yeah, let's go down here. Run into something else again. That's like all this route is. Just running into Pokemon when you really don't want to. Now, Trap Edge, I am very sure, has uh, Arena Trap, so it's 
Finley is indeed stuck in this one. But uh, he's stuck against a ground type with no special defense. And from what I remember, Mega Venusaur... Actually, I think Mega Venusaur really gets bonuses to both attacks. So we can kind of do a mixed thing like we're doing now. Does that give us Mega Charizard? No Mega Charizard option. Are you kidding me? I took... Not even a fraction of a step and a Doug Trio. It would suck if this was like a spot where you can get stuck in battle loops. But whatever, let's just Mega Giga Drain again. Da -da -da -da. Skin leaves. Getting tired of doing this. Accuracy fell, and it avoids because of the accuracy fell. Isn't this a great day? This Doug Trio. If it weren't for the fact that I am very sure of are gonna drop my accuracy again. You stupid accuracy fake Pokemon. Die in a hail of grass attacks. I almost want to get that Doug Trio out of my box and then make it fight all kinds of Pokemon. You have got to be kidding me. Fine. I like how that spot just perpetually, for some reason, has a Pokemon. For crying out loud. Anyways, there are grind rails you can go on here. Uh, how well you can go on them depends on how the sand is. Let's ride this. I think there's an item. None there. Okay, there's one there. It's a sunstone! Don't we already have one of those? Uh, and I didn't find it. There are quite a few items out here. Uh, some I think you need strength for. And... Nope. Not the right area. I don't want to fight you. Also, Power Plant Pass! So, uh... I'm not too sure how many people actually know this about that, but uh, we're going to get a hint eventually. Uh, this guy right here, we're going to battle him, and he's going to mention uh, at the end. I think he mentions something about dropping a uh, power plant pass by this rock. You can actually pick up the pass without bat before battling him. It's actually a pretty neat feature. It's not a case of, oh, I dropped a key. I'm a member of the Stylish Team Player, and I'm going to win in style. Uh, I just keep thinking, I'm thinking Draven right now, just because I win. And this is not a very good start for me. It would be kind of okay if Skinly had a, well, had a good move to use, but he doesn't. Skinly's Mega Ability, I should mention, is Thick Bat. He get, takes reduced damage from Fire and Ice type moves, which is good because he's weak to those. But it doesn't help too much when he doesn't really have anything to use against Fire types. Or Ice types. I, well, Ice types you could use a Grass move, because usually they're part water. But, I mean, a Fire type... Pretty much I'd have to get something... I'd have to get something else. No way around it. Fight. No flinch. I flinch. Alright, let's... Let's type a potion up. Oh. This better not be flinch games. I'm gonna be ending this episode, like, right after this battle. By the way. This episode, it was mostly just me raging at random Pokemon. Uh, 
Uh, that didn't even do enough damage. Beat up. It's gonna be two hits because he has two Pokemon. Uh, that reminds me of uh, this one strategy I saw on Showdown one time when I was kind of goofing off. This one guy, he had a beat up like Weavile that he paired up with a Trakian that uh, was. I forget what choice I had, but he pretty much just made it to where the thing he got the plus six attack on the first turn be a beat up. And then uh, just pretty much straight up destroyed anything that came on the field. It didn't help that the team I was using was a metronome team, which I occasionally go on to show down and decide, let's use and see how good I can do with this. Also, that might have been dangerous. Uh, you know what? Let's go and test our new scooter out. Also, I should have looked at his uh, stats. Okay, as I can plainly tell from that, he has much better special defense. Oh, look at that. 97 defense, 102 special attack. I wish there was a just go back to battle button. Alright, Scooter. Bolt switch. Yep, that's what I thought. Scooter to level 34. Peek Hole to level 26. That's Peek Hole's first level in this episode. I guess he technically had off. Uh, uh, yeah. I leveled him up, like, right before this episode. I did not do any training, huh? Where's the power plant class? How in the world do you have a power plant class? Ha! Huh. I'll make a status deduction. You picked up the power plant... Yeah, drop that... Blah, 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 blah. I dropped it by that. Yes, he dropped it by the boulder. So, I'll see you guys in the next episode, where we're gonna head on to the power plant. What else do you think we're gonna do? Bye-bye.